Bloomberg Best Economist Nariman Baravish has long-term concerns for Europe. He is Chief Economist at IHS Global Insight. Nariman, great to have you back on the show. Give us your sense Thank of you. how fragile the Eurozone economy is right now. Well, it is very fragile. First of all, growth is extremely low. I mean, the Europeans would be lucky to get 1% growth this year. And then add on top of that the fact that, you know, they, they have, a number of these countries have to be cutting back. They have to be tightening fiscal policy. They have to reduce their deficit. That's going to even grind growth lower. This is, of course, assuming they do it and, you know, the, the political will is there for them to do it. So the prospects for Europe are pretty iffy. Uh, best guess over the next four or five years, the best they're going to be able to do is 1% growth a year. Uh, so that's pretty bleak. And I think part of the reason the markets are getting so pessimistic about the euro is this very, very gloomy, bleak economic outlook. Does the region have the inherent capability to organically grow its economy out of this? The answer it doesn't seem to be yes. So, I mean, that's sort of a double negative. The answer is no. I think in the end productivity is very low. They've got these very high tax rates. They've got a lot of institutions that that uh, limit flexibility, especially in the labor markets. Um, so you know all that suggests that at best what Europe can do is one and a half, two percent growth but they're not even going to get there. Nariman, what about uh, the outlook for inflation there? Because at the same time that uh, Europe is suffering from this contraction, it's also, some say, going to be facing higher inflation. If it is, it's not going to be dramatic. And I think uh, certainly in terms of the European Central Bank, they're much more concerned about the, the downside risk right now than inflation risk. So I don't think they're going to be in any rush to raise interest rates. But right now, inflation is still very low. Core inflation in Europe is only about 0.8 percent. So I really don't see inflation as posing a problem. And if you accept this story of very sluggish growth, I honestly don't think in the next two or three years inflation will start to rise very much.